Hey, this is Jonathan Bukara for Fluency++. What keeps me up at night is searching how to write expressive code in C++. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why I think this is so important. So by expressive code, I mean code that when you read it, you understand the intent of the person who wrote it. Now, I think that this is the most desirable characteristic of a piece of code and more generally of a, of a code base. Now you may think, why this? There are other things that matter, like, like having few bugs in the application, being able to add new features, um, having a fast application, for example, which are important things as well. But the thing is, Having an expressive code base leads to those other positive aspects of a, an application. Indeed, if you understand the code, then you're going to see what it's doing and you're going to understand what it's doing wrong, right? And this helps spot bugs and fix them. Also, um, if you have a new feature, to add to an existing piece of code, if you don't understand the intent of the person who designed the code that's already there, and this person can be you, can be some, some, someone else in a big project, uh, then if you don't understand the intent of the person who wrote the piece of code, then chances are you're gonna, you're gonna fit it, but it's, gonna, it's not gonna fit very well. And features that don't fit well with each other accumulate into a big, big piece of legacy code. So having expressive code, understanding the intent of the person who wrote the code, helps you um, write code in the same direction uh, of the, the code that's already existing there and having a consistent whole. And that helps the application grow and grow in a good way. Now, there's a question about performance. I'm often asked a question, uh, should I write this, this solution that's not that clear, but I, it's, it's gonna be faster uh, than the clearer solution? And I always think that you, you should go for the clearest solution at first. The thing is, we want an application that runs fast. That, uh, absolutely. Now, if we have clear code, that code that's well organized, then it, it means there's a design, there's a structure into code. And if there's a, a, a place in that structure that runs slow, like a bottleneck, then a profiler is going to spot it. And if the structure is good, uh, then we'll be able to, to fix that performance bottleneck without changing everything as opposed to code that's not well organized, that goes like all over the place and that's hard to understand, um, then a performance bottleneck can have repercussions everywhere in the code and that's really difficult to tackle. So having clear, structured code helps fixing a performance bottlenecks, so it leads to better performance. Now there's one additional aspect of having expressive code. And I think that's something that's often over overlooked. It's about motivation. Staring at code all day and not understanding a bit of it is hard. It's frustrating. I mean, there are ways to work around that and, and there are things that we should do um, on our attitude to do with that because there is code out there and not all of it is ex as expressive as we'd like it to be. So there are things that we can do about that, but that's not the topic of today. It's something that's treated on Fluency++. But still, the thing is, staring at code that you don't understand for a long period of time is hard. It's hard for the morale. And also, if, if, if it's code that you don't understand uh, and, and, and adding new features take like an infinite amount of time, it's really frustrating, isn't it? So, at the opposite, having expressive code, code that you can add new features to and have a consistent code base, 
Uh, it's, it's satisfying because it goes faster, you can find bugs faster, you correct them more easily. And that's more motivating. It, it helps keeping up the motivation of your team. So if you're a manager, then that's something that's crucial for, your, for the development of your module. So having expressive code has, it goes a long way. It has a far reach because ultimately over time, it's gonna keep people motivated and it's gonna keep people in the company and in the team. So let's strive to write expressive code and together become fluent in C++. If you like this video, you can subscribe to the channel and have more of them. And you can also put a thumb up if you liked it. Thanks, and I see you next time.